As you create a worksheet, you will need to be able to edit or replace cell content. There are a few techniques for editing and replacing a cell's content. The first one is simply to select the cell and then type what you want the new content to be. Notice that I just replaced no with yes, and when I press enter, I have entered that information. Now, if you needed to replace just partial information, I could come up here to my formula bar, click in the formula bar, and then highlight or add whatever information I want. So here I'll go ahead and delete this, and I'll go ahead and type dash DCR, K of C. And notice that now, to the left of the formula bar, I have a check as well as an X. The check will enter this information. It's the same as pressing enter on your keyboard or clicking away from the formula bar into your worksheet. That will enter the data. Or if I press X, it will cancel that edit that I just made in the formula bar, bringing the cell back to its previous content. I'll go ahead and enter this information. There it is. Now the third technique I'd like to show you is how to do in worksheet edits. And if I come to any cell and double click within that cell, notice that I now have a cursor. I can highlight partial information or the entire cell and replace what's there. Let me go ahead and do the entire cell here. And I will type in. And notice that automatically, once I typed in little red, it's looking at the worksheet and what data has already been entered into the various cells. And it will make its best guess and say, oh, I bet this is going to be Little Red Restaurant. And it automatically added restaurant to this cell. This is a nice feature for uh, duplicate entries within a worksheet. Excel will try to make a guess if you've already entered it and pull that information into the cell. You can either then keep it or delete it and type in what you want to add. So those are the three different techniques for editing existing cell content. Let's go ahead and practice this by spicing up the product list. Go ahead and open up your product list. If you do not have it open or would like to start with a clean copy, you can find one by going to your Office button, choosing Open, and then in the Excel 2007 class folder, in the Chapter 5 folder, you will find 0504 Start File. And this is a product list developed up to this point class. Notice that we have two worksheets, product list as well as menu. We'll be working on the product list worksheet, so make that your active worksheet. And let's go ahead and spice up some of the names of the products that we have, such as for the blueberry muffin. Let's make this very blueberry. Notice I went through my formula bar, set my cursor, and now I'll enter the data. You could have gone through in worksheet editing by double clicking within that cell. And now let's go ahead and find dried fruit and let's go ahead and make that delicious. Dried fruit and enter that data. And finally, let's find where we have nuts and let's change that. I'll do in worksheet by double clicking in the cell, but let's change that to nutty. Spend a moment and go ahead and spice up this list, adding various words to add some character and flavor to our product list here. And then when you have that done, copy this product list that you've just created. I'm going to right click and use the copy and then go ahead and come over here to menu and paste it. You can just select A1 and then go ahead and paste it and it will paste on top of the existing cells that were there. But go ahead and change the product list then copy it over to menu so that both product lists reflect the same product listing.